Hello, friends. Susan Campfield here. It is so good to be back with you live. Uh, happy Tuesday. It is February 13th, which means it's Galentine's Day, where we celebrate our friends. So thank you, friends. Happy Galentine's Day to each and every one of you. Sending a big heart your way. Big heart your way. <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in tonight. My name is Susan Campfield. Welcome to my stamp room. Come on in. We're going to relax. We're going to create together. Um, don't even know 100% sure what it's going to look like yet, but we'll figure it out together. So I'm super excited uh, to share this project. Oh, I left the measurements over in the printer. Dang it. Hang on. Let me grab them. We're going to need those. <laughs> I got it. This is a little bit longer one tonight. So um, looking forward to making a fun project with you. I got a um, big box of gifts um, from one of my viewers, Brenda Russell, um, back in early January. They were Christmas themed. It was um, a whole bunch of things with a uh, um, red pickup truck with a tree in it. Um, she had ornaments and treats and oh my goodness. And she also sent me a beautiful card and a beautiful treat box holder. So tonight, I've, I've adapted the treat box um, with some, to use with some new dies, and we're going to attempt to make it, but we're going to make not a Valentine one, because that's tomorrow. We're going to look ahead a little bit. We're going to get you ready for some holidays coming up, so we're going to make an Easter project tonight. Um, Easter is a little bit early this year. It's at the end of March, so I don't want you to miss the boat and be last minute, like I'm always last minute. <laughs> So we're going to plan ahead a little bit. So super excited that you are here. Um, just checking to see if I have this. Uh, hi, Jennifer Walsh. Jennifer is our wonderful moderator. She's hanging out in the comments. Gosh, I feel like I haven't been with you in a super long time. I've been down in Arizona for a business retreat. Uh, it was amazing. It was exhausting. We worked really, really hard. We played really, really hard. And I... Yeah, I've been napping ever since I got home uh, yesterday. Um, my Uber came Monday morning at 3.30 a.m. <laughs> to pick me up and take me to the airport. And so I think I'm almost caught up on my sleep. So yay, we're going to make a craft project tonight. Let's dive in and get it going here. I'm going to switch to my desktop. I did want to remind you that if you haven't subscribed to my uh, free project sheet emails um, and you would like to get inspiration in your inbox, in your uh, emails, um, you can do that at suestanfield.com, click on subscribe, and then you'll get a printable document that you can uh, print out to make some of the projects that we make here. So let me show you the cute things that Brenda Russell sent me. I'm going to start with a card because it is so adorable, you guys. Uh, isn't that super cute? So this is the trucking along um, bundle from Stamp It Up. It's a punch bundle. And the truck, although this one is Christmas themed, okay, the card opens like this. Um, and then this piece is folded back here and she's got it decorated. And uh, just super, super cute um, card. And keep in mind, the trucking along bundle is not just for Christmas. It's got uh, palm trees, it's got presents, all sorts of things that you can put in the back of the truck. Um, so uh, this one is plants, fun for spring, got sunflowers, uh, trees, uh, lots of options. And of course, you could put other things in the truck. Um, if you were doing Easter, you could probably come up with some Easter egg shapes to make an Easter truck. We're going to do a little bit different tonight, but this is the card that she made. But tonight we're going to make the treat box that she made that went with it. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. It is adorable. So it's a little box. This is a, a die cut label. I'm not sure where it's from. Um, I'm, we're gonna be using a different one tonight, but I'm gonna show you a, a, another way to make this box. But the top slides off like that. And inside she has some Walker's uh, shortbread cookies super cute. And I, um, I don't know um, if she made this up herself, if she found the pattern online. I am not sure. This is a little bit older uh, paper here, but it's absolutely adorable. So we're going to give it a go tonight. Um, I did find a similar box on my friend um, Julie DiMatteo's website, the Paper Pixie. Julie was with me at this retreat last week at one of my roomies. We rented a house uh, along with some other gals. 
And um, so I will put the link to Julie's uh, video. It was from August of 2020 and it was also Christmas themed. Um, and so it, 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 um, it might use this same die uh, in case you have that one in your stash. I don't think this one is current. So we're gonna adapt it to something that I do have. And the card is so cute too. We might need to make, we're gonna make the box tonight, but we might need to make a, a card to go with it in the next video on Saturday. So. We're going to go Easter tonight. Let me put my trucking along away. But I was just completely blown away by uh, Brenda's generosity. And she sent me this lovely letter and saying um, that, uh, yeah, it was just so touching. So thank you so much, Brenda Russell. I'm I'm always like, I, I'm so touched when people do that. And I, I, <laughs> I feel guilty because you guys are so giving and so kind. So thank you each and every one of you for making and sending handmade cards. It is, it is absolutely amazing to re um, receive something like that um, in the mail. Oh, Lori said that she put little, um, little hearts in the back of the truck to, for Valentine's day. Great idea. But um, I'm thinking you could come up with something for little eggs, right? So um, we're going to use, the excellent eggs bundle tonight um, this bundle has a series of nesting eggs that have different um let me pull this out because it's kind of reflecting a little bit the eggs actually have oh boy i don't know if you can see that gosh susan you don't even have your ethernet cable plugged in hang on i took my laptop with me and it was quite the <laughs> quite the adventure tonight to try to get all the cords plugged in all right that mm, that may or may not help us we'll see so um some of these have different edges this one is dotted, this one is stitched, this one is dotted again um, for when you die cut them. And then this one is, um, as you can see, a kind of a um, decorative uh, egg. And then there are some different um, ways that you can die cut paper and little strips to decorate your Easter eggs. And then there's this adorable bunny die. And these go with, so some of these dies go with, um, the eggs in the set which you can stamp and color um the little bunny is in the set and then it has hello spring there's no bunny like you thinking of you and happy easter um in the set so we're gonna go ahead and give this a go hello linda from phoenix i was just there um the weather was not as phoenixy as i would have liked but it did get nice on sunday <laughs> All right, so we're, you know, okay, we're going to use this bunny, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's make our box first, okay? And we're going to use a designer paper that I think uh, is perfect for Easter. And that designer paper is the lighter than air paper. Now, those of you that are subscribed to my free project sheet emails, um, the I am sending out uh, that very, very, very soon. I was working on the project sheets on the plane and some of the project sheets I'm sending out are with this cute paper. Um, the others are the, uh, yeah, anyway. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just digging through here. Can you see the fun pastel colors here and why that would um, look good with why I went Easter with this? Um, this is the one that I'm thinking of right here. Let's see if I can find it. That's not big enough. <laughs> And that's for the top of our box. So here is a full sheet right here. So this is a six by six paper. Um, we're going to use this one to die cut our, our box top. You need about a four by four. You can get away a little bit smaller than that. Um, but approximately a four by four piece is going to be plenty to get your uh, lid for your box. And then we're going to do our box bottom out of pool party to kind of match this. Now, this pattern would also be super cute with a birthday theme. Um, let me get my paper trimmer here. Let's just slide those over and let's grab some pool party. <laughs> my desk is really messy, you guys. So we play a little game here. <clears throat> um, when I lose something and then I find it again, I say found it. We all take a sip of our beverage. So let me know what is in your cup tonight because gosh darn it you know i'm gonna lose something right <laughs> it just wouldn't be me if i didn't lose something i'm not proud of it but it's how i roll sadly all right i'm gonna cut my cardstock at three and five eighths inches so four eighths is a half and so i'm gonna add an extra eighth of an inch to that so three and five eighths inches 
by seven. And so to get the seven, I need to just pull out this arm here because seven is right there. And we're going to score this at seven or cut this, not score it, Susan. Get the name right. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, we're back in the groove here. We've managed to cut a piece of paper. Yes. <laughs> All right, so this is seven by three and five eighths for our box. And now we're gonna score it. I'm actually gonna use the um, Simply Scoring tool. And I'm gonna throw things around. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna use the Simply Scoring tool because um, I think it's a little easier for you to see and it's gonna uh, work a lot better for the top of our box. So might as well use it for everything. So I'm going to put the seven inch side at the top of my scoring tool and I'm gonna score at three and one eighths inch, which is right here. I have a dog trying to open the door to my room. And then at three and seven eighths inch, all right, so I've just added two. Oh boy, those, can you see that? Mm, tilt it, there you go, maybe. Um, so I scored it again at three and one eighths and three and seven eighths, okay? And then I'm gonna rotate my piece here so that the top of my piece, um, which again is three and five eighths inch wide, is at the top. And I'm gonna score, oh, Jennifer, the stuff I sent you, that's wrong. <laughs> There was a typo in that. So um, sorry, Jennifer. Um, we're actually going to score it at uh, five eighths in from each edge. Is that right? Hang on. Hang on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Everybody just take a breath here. Yeah. Okay. I wrote it wrong, but that is clearly not three. <laughs> Holy moly, Rocky. And this isn't even right. All right. All right. Let's just fix it. It's three quarters of an inch. Oh my goodness, Susan. Hang on. This is why I use erasable pens. <laughs> Best pen ever. It's called uh, a friction pen and it just fixes all my errors because you know what? Sometimes I make mistakes and this is one of those times. So <laughs> you are all such patient people. Bless you. Let's just change that to three and a quarter inch. <clears throat> three and a quarter inch in from each side. All right. <laughs> so um, three fourths of an inch right here. No, I said it wrong. I said three quarters of an inch. Is that right? <laughs> Not three and one quarter, but three fourths of an inch in from the side. Oh, can I just start over? <laughs> oh, deep breath, Susan, deep breath. All right. So three quarters inch in, flip it over, three quarters inch in. That's with the three and five eighths inside at the top. All right, so let's see. <laughs> let's do a little review, shall we? Since I've finally gotten it right. All right, with the seven inside at the top, you're going to score it at three and an eighth and three and seven eighths. You're gonna turn it so the three and five eighths inside is at the top, and then you're score gonna score it at three quarters of an inch, rotate it, and three quarters of an inch. If you didn't want to rotate it, you could do it here, but you know, we rotated it. So we're going to ignore that. <laughs> All right. Well, I haven't lost an item yet, but I've lost my mind, I think. Okay. So we've got our piece here. We're going to go ahead and grab some, some snips and we're going to cut in on this score line. And I'm going to stop at the intersecting score line. This is going to form the little tabs for our box. Right, like that. So you might be wondering, so I'm, I'm making a box, who can I give it to? Well, anyone, right? It's it's um, something that's great to hand out to people. Um, if you have coworkers, family members, neighbors, it's a fun little thing to give to just, it deserves a sip, Jennifer says. All right, everyone, let's take a sip because Susan lost the measurements. Mm. Mm. Actually, I just had them wrong. I lost my mind, that's what I lost. So I've cut in these little tabs and stopped at the, that intersecting score line, okay? So we're making a box. This um, retreat I just went to, um, I actually made um, a little swap to give to the, um, there were 59 attendees. 
um, to give to each person there. And if you don't know me at all, um, I'm all about kindness. Um, that's why I appreciate you all for making and sending handmade cards because you're making the world a kinder place. So I gave everybody a little mini kind bar. And then on the back of the wrapper, um, I had a little quote here, be kind to yourself. You are amazing. You are good enough and you are worth it. And that goes out to each and every one of you because you are so kind to others. So remember to be kind to yourself, friends, on this Galentine's Day. All right, let's dive back in to our box. I got totally <laughs> distracted. All right, so we've got our box going here. We've got our little tabs cut and we're gonna set this aside. And we're going to uh, do the top now. Let's see if I can mess that up too. <laughs> uh, and I honestly don't try, you know, uh, and mistakes are fine as long as you can fix them, right? And we're all, crafters are really good at fixing, <laughs> fixing our mistakes. Oh, thank you, Marilyn. She likes my nails tonight. I appreciate that, thank you. The, okay, here is our polka dot paper. Now I could cut this down, I'm not going to. Now I'm gonna introduce another set of dies. So on the little treat box that Brenda Russell sent me, she used a label die to uh, make the top. Um, and so that's what we're doing, but we're gonna use this one right now from um, the Thoughtful Expression dies. And I took this largest, I'm gonna call this a circle label, it's, circular-ish-ish. -ish. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it, but this round, how about round, roundish label, um, we're going to uh, die cut here with our pretty little polka dotty paper. Now there are a lot of, when I was playing around with this, I played around with some of the other patterns. This is another one um, that I tried. I, I This was when I was still fig trying to figure out the score marks on this. So we're going to be scoring it and cutting it to make the box of our a little box. This one I had a little oops on, so I had a couple score lines there until I find the found the sweet spot. Um, but actually, either side of this pattern would also be super cute with an Easter theme. Um, this one would be cute with Easter or birthdays or whatever. So I'm using the largest label die, um, lar largest round label from the Thoughtful Expression dies. I love these dies. The stamp set is great with the hummingbird and the flowers. But these nesting dies are awesome. They would be a great addition to add to your uh, your die collection. So we're going to put that back in place. And set that aside. And let's get this scored. <laughs> I'm scared now. Let's see what I can mess up this time. Oh my goodness, Susan. All right. Let's see. I have a little cheat sheet. Let's see if I got it right. So we're going to find the center on this. So to me, the center are these um, one of these bigger rounded scallops. And I am using the lighter than air designer series paper to cut this. It is actually goes with the hot air balloon bundle or the hot air balloon suite, the lighter than air suite that's in the mini catalog. But these pastel papers um, are great for birthdays and Easter and any kind of spring event. Um, they're just really fun colors. So I'm going to put this now in my Simply Scoring tool. I've actually taken a Sharpie and on the six inch line, I've drawn a line. Sometimes it's just helpful to um, have a center line and that's what I'm going to use here. So I'm going to line up my label so that the scallop is at the center of the six. Okay, so the this scallop right here, I'm kind of guessing where center is, and I'm going to line that up with the six inch mark. And then the scallop at the opposite end, I want it to be in the center of the six inch mark. This is approximate, right? Now I'm going to score it at three eighths inch to the left of that center mark and three eighths inch to the right of that center mark. Okay, so actually I'm going to start with the right first. And then the left, this is designer paper, so you don't want to press too hard uh, because it is it is lighter weight than cardstock, all right? So now I've got this these two score lines that are gonna form the flat part of our box. And now we need to do the side. So I'm gonna rotate my piece and I'm gonna again put it in the, the score tool, scoring, uh, simply scoring tool so that that um, 
another one of the side round pieces are at the top. I'm not saying that very well. I'm finding the, the uh, this was the center top and bottom. I'm finding the center on the side and putting it at the top. And it's making sure that it looks straight-ish. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna score at, I have to look at my notes and I have to double check. <laughs> Let's double check. I'm scoring five eighths in, in from each end. So five eighths is right here. That's one more than one less than three quarter and one more than a half. All right, so I've got that scored. I'm gonna rotate the whole piece around and again, get that up at the top and score again at five eighths of an inch. All right. So let's look at this piece. We found the top and we scored it at three eighths of an inch um, in from the center mark. So we found the center mark and we scored on each side of the center. Okay. And then we rotated it and we scored it at um, five eighths inch in from this end, turned it around and did five eighths inch in from that end. All right. So now we have a piece that looks like this. And we can remove our scoring tool. It's trying to fall over. <laughs> and then we're going to take our paper snips and we're going to cut up on this score line and stop when we get to the intersecting score line, kind of like we did on the box. All right, so we've got this little flap here and I'm going to rotate it around and do the same here. And here, all right, are you guys with me? Have I totally lost you? <laughs> How are we doing friends? All right, so I've got uh, a flap and then these two pieces. I'm gonna, um, I, to finish it off, I'm gonna fold these, these kind of um, rougher edges under and the tab is gonna go on top, all right? We need a clean our rooms date. Oh yes, indeed. Mm. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> My sister keeps threatening, I mean, offering to come help me <laughs> clean out my craft room. Oh, that's gonna be scary. Okay, so we've got our lid here. Let's get some tear and tape and let's put this together. Does anyone know what I did with my box that I cut? Oh, I found it, found it, found it, found it. Here it is, yay. All right, take a sip, everyone. We have located the bottom and the top of our boxes. Mm. And let's put them together here. So on this one, I'm gonna fold the tabs inside the box. And I'm gonna take my bone folder. Oh, where's my pretty bone folder? Oh, here it is, found it. I found the, the really old beat up looking one. Let's, let's get, I like the nice one for you guys. You guys get the good stuff. <laughs> All right, so I'm just scoring on those creases. Patricia says she's watching intently. <laughs> now this one does have a lot of scores and whatnot in it. So I'm gonna put them right in. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm gonna put them right in the description of this video. If you're watching over on Facebook, I will put it um, in my, I'll, I'll put it in the description of the videos there too. Um, in my in my Sue Stanfield Facebook group, I'll post the pictures of it after the fact and we will uh, with all of the dimensions, okay? So, um, all right, that's the next best thing to having a printable sheet, but we'll work on that later too, but we gotta make our matching card, but that'll be on Saturday. So I'm gonna add some tear and tape here. And sure you are, Sue. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Oh, now I've got the sticky, sticky stuff out. What could possibly go wrong? All right, we're going to go ahead and stick this on right here. All right, so we've got our tear and tape on somewhere in this disaster. Oh, found it. <laughs> it's hiding under the candy that we're going to put in our box. Um, I take your pick tool. I like to use that to remove the backing of this tear and tape because it is really hard for me to pick it up with my nails. All right, there we go. All right, so we've got our, <laughs> you have a sister that always threatens to come and clean when every time she comes, yep. Yep, yep, um, it would be good. It's very sweet of her to offer, but um, 
I don't want her to throw out all my good stuff. <laughs> all right, so I've got that stuck down, and then I'm going to stick this side down. There we go. All right, so we've got our box going here, and let's see how we do on our lid. I had to figure out how I want to close this. I'm thinking um, I could either use a teeny weeny piece of tear and tape on each side, or I could even use a glue dot. Let's try a little piece of tear and tape and see how that works. I just want to make sure it's not going to show. Okay, it won't. All right, just a little, a little piece. This is very strong tape. Okay, let's see if, oh, what, what, what did I do? <laughs> let's see if that works. Okay, see, I cannot do it without, without a tool. It does not want to come off. All right. So I've got a, it's hanging over a little bit here. I'm just going to fold it back. I'm just testing this to make sure. Oh yeah, that's cool. All right, that'll work. All right, let's add another little piece here. It's a fun little lid, isn't it? It's just so cute. All right, we've got our two pieces. Pull that off. And... make our corners here and stick that on All right now you can put it on your box first before you stick it down and kind of um, adjust it as needed and uh, make sure that it's gonna fit your box exactly if you want so kind of customize it to size because this is you know it's designer paper so it's it's um, it can stretch and, and do whatever you want it to do. All right, that piece is a little bigger than I should have gotten, I think. All right, let's get even a littler one here. This other side. All right. Not sure if I'm saying that right. If you put it right on the box when you assemble it, you can... Um, stretch it a little bit to make sure that it, it's a nice snug fit or squish it in a little bit if your box ends up to be a little bit bigger this one does not want to come off but i'm going to convince i'm not going to give up <laughs> it is coming off all right let's get this side i do want to make sure i don't have any adhesive oh <laughs> i took off the whole thing all right now it's sticking to me and I have a little blob of tear and tape on my take your pick tool what and now on my yeah it's still on my take your pick tool come on how did I even do that you guys <laughs> all right that that's that's a do-over opportunity <laughs> all right you did your room yourself Carol oh good for you that's what I should be doing so you can, well, she says it'll only last a few days, but you know what? You'll enjoy it those few days, <laughs> right? That's the thing. If we, it's messy because we use it, right? If it was totally spotless and everything was in its place, it's probably because we aren't using it. And it's much better to make and use your craft stuff. Your dogs are the only ones allowed in your craft room. Oh, that's funny, Mary. All right, so here we have our little box. Here is our little lid goes on right like that and now we can do the fun part and decorate it let's talk just really quickly about what we're going to put in this box i actually um i went to walgreens now mine is um actually a little bit shorter than the, this box just how it came out <laughs> um <clears throat> so i went to walgreens oh i forgot something i was gonna <clears throat> punch a a doot doot there hang on if I still can. I don't know if I still can. Um, I was going to punch a little half, um, a half circle. Darn it. That's all right. <clears throat> Imagine if you will, wait, hang on. This one has a half circle. You can punch before you assemble, you can punch a little, uh, divot in the cardstock so that you can see the treats and pull them out easier. Mine's not going to have that because I forgot. So <laughs> your dog eats the paper, Patricia. Yeah, I would ban that dog as well. So this one, um, Tic Tacs, Tic 
tacks fit in here perfectly. Um, there is not a lot of Easter stuff out right now, but I did find um, the, uh, the Reese's eggs. I managed to find that. Right now it's all about Valentine's Day, <laughs> but they did have some Reese's eggs out and those do fit. Now, why is this? I'm, I'm, I don't think I glued this side very good. What? Oh, you know what? I just don't, I just didn't press on it. Right. Okay, there we go. So we can do a uh, Reese's egg in here. Um, I'm going to have to hide these because this is my husband and son's favorite. And if I want to ever show you this treat again, uh, I'm going to have to hide these. Um, so the Reese's eggs do fit. And then you can also, um, there's Tic Tacs and other things that would fit. Uh, Ghirardelli usually has some really cute bunny themed um, chocolates that are long and skinny. And I'm thinking could fit two or maybe even three of those in here. I did check regular Ghirardelli's and you can um, just squish three of these, uh, three of those into this box. So those are some options for you on, um, on the different holders. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and decorate our box. So bunny time, you guys, it's bunny time. Now you absolutely could die cut um, an egg and decorate our little box with an egg like this one that has all the different um, uh, patterns on it. I think this one would be <clears throat> maybe a bit too big. I'm really froggy throat tonight, I'm sorry about that. Actually, it would be fine. You could cut this one and these would be um, really cute to die cut out of this paper as well. The lighter than air paper. But we're going to do a bunny and probably happy Easter. So let's get our bunny out. A brand new set for me. I have not uh, not had an opportunity to ink this rubber up. So I am really excited to uh, get to use this for the first time tonight and then I'm going to have you guys decide what sentiment we're putting on the front of the box Now we could put a sentiment on the front and one on the back um, the sentiments in here um, I do want to use happy Easter if it'll fit let's check well we could use happy Easter and we could also use yeah we better see if they fit first oh look at that it's perfect happy Easter fits let's see if this one fits this one says there's no bunny like you. And that one also fits perfectly. So let me know in the comments if we want to do Happy Easter or if we want to do the There's no bunny like you or if we want to do them both, one on each side. So let me know in the comments. I'm going to go ahead and put the sticker on the label on my bunny. Uh, like I said, I have not used this set at all. So I'm super excited to uh, get it inky for the first time. Again, I'm using the excellent, ex <laughs> excellent eggs bundle, which is super cute. There's no bunny like you. Yes, Virginia. By the way, Virginia, thank you for the beautiful Valentine card that you sent me, um, which I was going to show to everybody tonight but I don't know where I put it. Oh, I see it. It's across the room. <gasps> okay. I'll show that at the end of the video. Don't let me forget you guys. Don't let me forget. It was very thoughtful of you, Virginia. Thank you so much. All right. I've got my little bunny on here and then we're going to find a piece of, <laughs> Oh, Jennifer, what are we going to do with me? Hmm. Jennifer comes over and helps me sometime, but she doesn't get to see my messy craft room. Do you Jennifer? <laughs> it's not for not for the faint of heart let's put it that way all right I'm going to take the memento tuxedo black ink and stamp my bunny now this bunny would be super cute on if you wanted to do a brown bunny you could do it on um, the crumb cake I'm going to do a white bunny so we got my little bunny there and let's see what we Okay, I've seen a couple that said no bunny like you and several that have said both. It looks like both is in the lead here. So that's what we'll go with. While I am at it, I think I better, with words, I do, I probably could have got away without putting the label on the bunny. But with words, uh, it's really a good idea to get the, the labels on because um, 
it's harder to stamp them straight without the label. All right, so I've got a happy Easter here. I usually do prefer to use the glass mat um, to get my words straight. I am winging it here. Um, the glass mat is available right now um, as an option, uh, extra perk for the starter kit. So if you want to give uh, being a demonstrator a try and you do not need to, you don't have to do videos, you don't have to do parties or classes if you don't want to, you can just be a discount shopper. Um, and so you can try out being a demonstrator right now. The starter kit is $125 in product um, for $99 uh, free shipping. Uh, and during celebration, you can also add on a free glass mat, or if you don't want the glass mat, you can get $30 in additional free product. Let's get our um, There's No Bunny Like You going here. But I like the glass mat for this because it's got the grid on it, and I can just lay the stamp right on there. And uh, But I've made such a mess that I am not even going to pull it out right now. Let's see. Oh, I hope I got that right. All right. No bunny like you. Okay. Excellent. Let's, let's clear the deck. <laughs> All right. We're going to bring in the die cutting machine here. I would actually love to um, die cut my sentiments too. Ah, I got that thing again going where I don't have very many blocks in my drawer. And you know what that means? It means I've got a bunch of stamps with that are sitting on blocks around my craft room. All right. What color ink do we want? I'm worried that pool party might be a little bit light. Let's test it out. Let's just give it a test here and see if that's going to be dark enough or if we want to go with a little bit darker color. The other colors in this paper are Azure Afternoon. Um, I see Lemon Lolly, a Pool Party. Yeah, let's give Pool Party a go. Fresh Freesia is in there as well. Um, let's try Pool Party and see what we think. We could always do it in black. Let's see here. It is time to start thinking of Easter because it's, you know what? End of March is going to be here before we know it, right? It's already halfway through February. Unbelievable. All right, there's Happy Easter. What do you guys think? Do you think uh, Pool Party is going to be dark enough? Or should we go with the brighter blue, the Azure Afternoon? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And while you are voting, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, a couple people say Azure Afternoon. Let's give it a go here. Azure Af Afternoon is kind of a bright sort of robin egg blue. I'm sorry, I jiggled the camera there. Would you call it a robin's egg blue? I, I guess I would. Um, there's no bunny like you. Let's test this out on this random scrap piece. Oh yeah, that's nice and bold, isn't it? What do you think? What size blocks do you have the words on right now? I have them on blocks that are bigger than they need to be, but these are the H blocks, which is a really great size, especially for longer words like this. Uh, but, you know, hey, they're doing the job, right? <laughs> so, uh, much better. That's a winner. Okay, you guys like the darker color here. So, let's go ahead and do the Happy Easter in the brighter blue. All right. Um, happy Easter. Okay, I need to clean it. Let's grab our stamp and scrub. And our stamp on this cleaner, give it a little squirt, and we're gonna just clean that off and dry it off and switch colors here. I'm just chucking that over to the side where all the stuff is. <laughs> all right, there's Happy Easter right there. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we can do here. We're gonna close this up before I have an inky disaster. Let's bring in the die cutting machine. Little bunny needs to move over, clear in some space. And here we go. All right. We are going to cut out our bunny. That would require a die. All right. So I'm going to grab the excellent eggs dies. 
and this adorable little bunny. Now we also could use this to decorate our box, the scallop. Lots of options with this set. All right, we're gonna go right here. So I am just uh, lining up the die with the, the outline of the stamped image, but I don't want it to shift on me. So I'm gonna use a post-it note to keep it from moving. There's a lot of different things that you can use. Some people use washi tape. They actually sell post-it note tape that's on a little roll. You can use that. Um, I just, all, I'm a post-it note person. <laughs> because I forget things. So I write a lot of little post-it notes. So I, oh, I have them on a hand, right? So I'm using what I have. All right, I'm just gonna give a little test here and see if I wanna die cut my words or just cut them out. All right, so, oh, look how cute. Can you guys see that? It's blurry, sorry. I'll pull it back a little bit. So cute little bunny. We're gonna add just a little bit of color on our bunny. All right, let's put our bunny away and let's take a look at this. I am just trying to decide. Um, so I could actually just cut this as a, cut the scallop using the die from the excellent eggs. That might be kind of fun. Let's see what that would look like. I'm gonna maybe put the bunny right on the flap and then put the happy Easter down here. Or I can do a label. Let me just grab the, the smallest uh, rectangle label in the Thoughtful Expressions. These are the dies that we used for our lid. Oh, look at that. That's like perfect. <laughs> All right, we'll use that one. That's a winner. All right. Go ahead and die cut this out. All right. And I'm gonna set this aside for now. And let's see what we think here. You know, I don't know. I you know what? Hang on. This is where Susan starts overthinking. I am going to die cut the... Oh, sorry friends, I'm whacking the camera. <clears throat> I'm getting getting intense here with... Uh, I'm gonna also die cut the pool party one because I might like that better. Let's see what we think. All right. It looks like my pool party ink pad could use some re-inking. All right, did anyone see? Oh, found it. <laughs> I lost the clear plate because guess what? It's clear. Um, so, oh, hi, Patricia. Just in time to, for the fun part, decorating, right? All right, let's take a look here. This is the Happy Easter in the pool party, which I know on camera might be a little hard to read. But in person, it is not bad. It's, um, I think it looks, it looks nice to my eye. If I did the box in Azure Afternoon, I think I would like this one better. I'm not sure how I like it on the pool party or, uh, cardstock. So, I'm just, all right, let's maybe go with that. All right, hang on a second here. I'm going to just clear the deck and let's color our bunny. It's not going to be very much coloring because we don't need to do much coloring. I'm just going to get the, um, I'm going to get the bubble bath. Wait, um, yeah, I'm going to grab the bubble bath stamp and blends here. And this is the light one. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of pink inside the bunny's ear. And a little bit on the nose. You can even give it little blushing bunny cheeks if you want. You could also take um, the Smoky Slate lights and add a little shading um, in gray if you want. I'm keeping it super simple, which is 
couple little touches of pink there. And I am actually going to put the bunny. All right, I'm, I'm just going to play around a little bit here. Where is my other sentiment? Right here. I'm going to clean it off. Just do a little experimenting. And just finish out our box. So we could just add the bunny right here. We've also got some um, fun gems that we can add because, you know, I really like to add a bit of sparkle. So I am just, uh, bear with me while we design the finishing touches to our box. So this is, these are a celebration freebie. So right now um, it's the last opportunity to take advantage of celebration. If you place a $50 order, um, you can select a free um, item of your choice. And one of the free items are these opaque um, faceted gems. And they come in three colors. Uh, Jennifer, what colors are these? <laughs> I think we've got, I know we have pool party on here, which is why I pulled it out. Um, pool party, um, I believe either copper clay or a pecan pie. I'm guessing it's copper clay. And then this looks like a uh, calypso coral, actually. So, because um, we could add some little sparkly gems to our box. That would be cute. We can also add our other sentiment here. Where did I do with the pool party ink? I put it away. Why would I do such a thing? Found it. Take a sip, everyone. It's an adorable little box, an adorable little bunny. We're just coming up with a cute way to finish it off here. So thank you for uh, your patience while we try out some things. All right, I'm just stamping no bunny like you. And I'm going to get my paper trimmer out. And I'm going to throw some... <laughs> some things around it's all good nothing broke it's <laughs> when we're in the throes of crafting nothing is safe right it's like oh i have an idea let's just throw that out of the way all right so that is uh, three quarters of an inch and i can go a little bit smaller i'm just basically cutting it to size here all right so this is uh that is one and three quarters inches long and I'm gonna shave off just an eighth of an inch here. So it's one and three eighths inches by five eighths inches. Let's see what we think here. That could go right there. There's nobody like you, so we could do that. Now we do have the brighter blue one here somewhere. Oh boy. Oh boy, what do I do with it, you guys? Oh my heavens, Betsy. <laughs> I had one that was in Azure Afternoon that said, there's nobody like you. Oh. <laughs> what are we gonna do with me, Jennifer? Seriously, it was right here. Oh, found it. I found it, we die cut the other part of it. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Let's try this because I think we could get away with Azure Afternoon on the flap. <laughs> oh, you're sweet, Joan. <laughs> she gave a thumbs up before the video even started, just hoping it would be good. <laughs> All right. Let's trim a little bit more off here and let's go to... Oh, I could have done it. Okay. Sorry. Playing with, with measurements. So fun. What did I do this one at? It was one and three quarters, I think. All right. One and three quarters. All right. So we've got, then there's no bunny like you in the bright color. We've got it in this color. We can also do... And let me just relocate this gem for the moment. Let's 
Let's see if I can fit them together. I don't know if I can. I could do that. There's nobody like you. That would kind of fit. <gasps> so many choices. Yes, I overthink things. It is true. Because <laughs> there's so many fun options, right? Mm. Oh, did Mickey have an idea? <laughs> oh, something chocolatey inside? <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, so let's uh, let's start sticking stuff down. We're gonna get serious now. I have to make a decision. <gasps> it's okay. Things can be removed, right? <laughs> oh goodness! All right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go like this. All right, we're gonna pop this one up as well. It's a 3D item. I can pop everything up can be as lumpy as I want. <laughs> All right, let's go here. And let's go here. Oops, I covered up my top of my bee. No, 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 no. It's hanging over. Hang on. His little bunny nose is hanging over the edge of the box. Can't have that. I'm going to go flush to this side. There, now he fits. And let's get another gem on there. And if you want to, you can add some ribbon. Let's see, where's this one going to go? Move these around a little bit here. All right, there's nobody like you. And then we could add a little bit of ribbon. This is another celebration freebie. It's the super cute ruffly ribbon. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I, grabbed, uh, I grabbed another roll there too. Um, this one is free with a $50 order as well. And you could just wrap it around the top. I love this ruffle for spring. It's just kind of springy. All right, where did I put the scissors set for cutting ribbon? Oh, goodness, they're probably buried. Let's just go with this. We'll pretend I found them, but we're actually using paper cutting ribbon snips. Hopefully, fortunately, they were sharp enough to cut the ribbon. Not always the case. And let's just go ahead and knot this on. And then I am going to add the Happy Easter to the back of the little box. And then we'll put our Reese's egg in there. Or we could put our Tic Tacs in there. We have options. There's our little ribbon. Let's just trim this down. Not the best scissors for this, but I'm making do. <laughs> they have a little bit of sticky on them, I think. All right, here we go. Some sort of little uh, bow on top. And then on the back, we're going to put our Happy Easter as soon as I find it. Oh, found it. All right, let's grab our Happy Easter right here. And that is just a teeny weeny bit, just a skosh wider than the box, but that's okay. So I'm going to put our dimensionals on the back. Is it midnight yet? Oh, no. But our hour together is almost up. So, okay, there we go. There's the back of the box. Here's the front of the box. Let's open up the box. And again, we could put in the wintergreen Tic Tacs, which are kind of sort of the right color. Or we can put in the Reese's egg there and pop on our lid. Doesn't matter that it's orange, right? I could almost kind of an orangey color in our polka dots on, to on the top of our box because it doesn't show from the outside. And there we have our little Easter treat holder. So, <laughs> so fun. All right, I wanted to show you. Oh, let's show the measurements really quick. Again, I'm going to put these in the description because um, there are a lot of them, and one of them I messed up. Mm -hmm was the one I messed up, Jennifer. I think it was this one right here, right? Let's uh, fix that. That's what Sharpies are for. <laughs> All right. I will put this in the description because that is a lot of measurements. So let's 
this but there is our cute little treat box and then on our next video we will do a card we'll do an easter card with similar color combinations with this layout to kind of match our treat box um, like the you know like the set that i got from brenda russell so thank you again brenda russell for inspiring us tonight and then i wanted to show you the card really quickly that i got from virginia She sent me this adorable card for Valentine's Day with the Sending Love Bundle. It has the little uh, flag on there with the mailbox. So thank you so much, Virginia, for thinking of me. So fun to get handmade one-of-a-kind car uh, cards in the right in your mailbox, right? So thank you all for making and sending um, handmade cards. Let's uh, <laughs> get a dimensional explosion that happened here. Where is my button? There it is. Hey, friends. Again, happy Valentine's Day today. Happy Valentine's Day tomorrow. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Quick reminder, the uh, project sheet email is just about to go out. So if you want to uh, get some printable project sheets that match some of my past videos, you can go to suestampfield.com, click on subscribe, and you will be all set um, to get those in your inbox. Craftanoon is coming up at the end of this month. I believe it is February 24th. So if you placed a $50 order before tax and shipping with me in January, you're going to be getting a packet in the mail to make the February Crafternoon project. If you place a $50 order here in February, then you'll get a packet in the mail to make the March uh, Crafternoon project. So take care, everyone. Have a great night, and we'll see you uh, Saturday night at 7.30 Central Time for another video adventure. This time we're going to take on an Easter card. See you then. Bye-bye.